not sure if uh, I've ever seen a game where one guy makes the um, only threes in the game. It's crazy. So I, I guess we could classify both teams as a good defensive, uh, three-point defensive team. Uh, loved the way our guys came out in the second half with energy. Uh, I thought we did a good job. We kind of, um, we did when we lost Michael to his second foul and him only playing four minutes in the first, it kind of changed us a little bit. Uh, we didn't finish the half like I wanted to. Uh, obviously, he's one of the guys that studies us and gets us in the right stuff. But thought we did some good things. Um, I thought JT played extremely well. Uh, was very excited at what I saw from Trey Parker. Uh, I thought he was very aggressive. Um, and I think we're getting better. We want to build on that second half. I like some of the things I've seen. Um, you know, Coastal is a team that loves to control tempo and they want they want to play the game in the 50s and 60s. And we came in wanting to play fast and make them play fast. I thought we did a good job on the defensive end. Uh, once again, forcing 19 turnovers. So, questions? As an offense, do you guys feel like you need Jaden to kind of be the guy in a way? Is that kind of emerging, evolving as we speak? No, I don't. I think we're going. I think we're going to have a group that, on any given night, that you might have Marcus Hill with 18, you might have Brandon with 18, you might have someone else. But I think JT played well tonight and the other night. But. I don't think this group needs him to have the DJ Horn role. I think we got a lot of guys that are all going to be anywhere from 12 to 15 points a game, just depending on the night and the opponent. Well, how are you with the free throw shooting tonight? You know, you attempted 35, but you still missed seven. Well, I'm happy because we, you know, all of those meals that we didn't get to provide, I, didn't, I was upset about that. Um, you know, we, uh, I, I, I got everybody in, uh, I think it was yesterday, on their own to shoot 100 free throws. Uh, we're a much better free throw shooting team that we've shown, and tonight we made 28 and kind of missed seven, but I know we did a better job at the free throw line, especially, you know, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon and JT, Brandon's gonna get a lot of fouls. He's very good inside, and going nine for 10 from the from an interior play is really good. Kevin, with the, with the length of depth, you have to feel like you're, gonna, you're going to be able to do some things defensively that you haven't been able to do in the past. How long is it gonna take you guys to sort of get up to speed with that and, and start kind of digging deep into the, the playbook. Yeah, I hope it look, hope it doesn't take to the uh, first game against Louisville in the ACC uh, tournament. But uh, we're, we're it's it's a work in progress. I, I love the way we are. The thing about this group, they're competing every day in practice. We're getting better every day. They're you know the thing that we didn't know is we got so many different guys from different places. And we're starting to understand scouting reports. We're getting better at that. And I think once we get better at that and learning how to be play hard consistently, all of our team, all of my teams play hard. We're consistently playing hard on both ends of the floor. I think our depth will show more. You Who's mentioned the, Trey and kind of being happy for him. How much have you seen him grow, especially from last Monday to today? No, he's gotten better. I mean, he is. I mean, he was an energy guy. And every game I go into the game saying, like, who's going to be my energy guy? And I thought Trey was great. Uh, but he's had great practices. You know, it's weird with this group, you can look at how they practice of any group that I've ever had and determine how they're going to play on game day. Uh, we don't have, you know, DJ Horn could have a bad practice, but he was such a natural scorer that he could come out and just score whether he practiced well or not. These guys, we all have to have good practice in order for it to translate over to the games. You're an activity guy. You see eight rebounds, two on the offensive side at halftime. Is that, is that a major thing at halftime? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, the one thing I do, the first thing I go to is the board and figure out how many deflections we had. We had 11, and you know I don't like that because uh, we talk about getting 40 deflections that would be 20 a half, and so activity and rebounding. And I told Trez and those guys, you got to impact the game by rebounding the basketball and do different things. And um, I, I love I love our first three minutes of the second half. Um, I love our first five minutes of the first half. Just in between, we got to continue to get consistent in every way. JT had four turnovers pretty early. Um, is he going to have to run? <laughs> I don't know. Do <laughs> you think he should run? That would be editorial. <laughs> yeah, as well, we can do that. You know, did he have, and y'all got a fact check. I think he had four and five last game. So he's had nine in two days. Yeah. We're going to have to listen. He's going to have to come to my office. We're going to have some meetings and talk about that. I think last game he had five assists and five turnovers. 
Tonight he had, what did he have, four? Where were we at with JT? I think he ended up with five. And yeah, no. And not. had four in the first half. Where you see him at? Oh, my goodness. He had four, five turnovers with no assists. Yeah, he's probably got to run. I agree with you. I'll tell him that you said that. Uh, 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 uh. No more interviews for you for Jay Taylor. He's gonna be really mad at you for that. But uh, no, I, I we we won't run. I mean, but I, I got to show him his his turnovers and see where they're coming from and get him better in that area because he's much better than turning the ball over, you know, nine times in two games. You feel like offensively, you guys with all the new pieces are kind of starting to find holes. Look comfortable, more comfortable. You know, I think offensively we've been really good in the three games. If you look at it, you know, we've scored in you know, around the 80 some points or more in every game, uh, which is a little surprising for this group early on. Uh, the also th the, the other thing I'll point out is this group has really passed the ball well. We've had a games of 18 and 22 assists, and tonight we had 11. Uh, we're we're starting to understand how to get people the ball. I, I jumped on our guards a little bit, but I thought Brandon got two or three three-second calls because we didn't throw him the ball initially, and he was posting hard. If you got a post guy that's posted, you got to do a good job of giving him the ball. And I thought we, did, I didn't, I didn't, I think, I didn't think we got him the ball early. But I like what I see from my guys offensively right now. We just, we got to get a little bit more stingy on the defensive end. I say that, but we're still forcing a lot of turnovers. Hey. We're, go ahead. No. No, we're, we're, we're winning the turnover battle every game. I like that part of it. I just want us to be a little bit more consistent in some areas. Yeah, any update on Mike James? Mike James, uh, I don't have a clear update. Uh, I, I would say two and a half, three weeks. Um, you know, I, I look forward to getting him out, in, out there. He's a, you know, 6'5", strong wing, just played a lot of basketball, and we're missing him, and you just don't realize it. Dennis Parker's not 100%. Um, you know, he's coming back from those two ankle injuries, and it's, this was his first game playing since, since the NCAA. So we got some more pieces that we got to add to our, our group. What do you think the offensive identity of this team is? Because, you know, you've got to score in the paint every game. You didn't shoot well tonight. Do you think it's a team that's going to be physical and aggressive like tonight? Or are there chances for it to be, you know, three-point and that? Yeah, I, don't, I think we're a driving team. Um, I think you look at the game last time, last um, the last game we had 47, 48 points in the paint, and then we had 42. Um, I think the identity of it is we got, you know, Brandon is uh, very comfortable with his back to the basket. Um, and so we're throwing the ball into him, and, and we're cutting off him, and we're playing it. I think JT and Marcus Hill are doing a good job of getting paint touches, and so is Mike. Mike's getting in there, and he's spraying the ball out. Uh, it's too early to, to get get a clear understanding of what our identity is, but it looks like that we could be a good paint touch team at times. Colgate, a team that's been uh, conference champions in their league the past two years, made the turn the past two years. Is there any thought to start shortening the rotation and get a couple guys some more chemistry? No, I just, right now we got such a, you know, it's, I, I look over there and I see a lot of guys who are equal. And right now I'm rewarding um, how hard you compete in practice. Um, because once again, with this group, I'm noticing from our exhibition to our scrimmage um, to the three games, it, it, whatever happens in practice is translating to what's on the floor right now. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.